Good morning everyone. This is a video on my um, turtle tanks. First I'm going to start off with this tank that I uh, put together for uh, some baby mud turtles that I have. Uh, I got three turtles from the same hatch, uh, from the same egg litter, and uh, the one uh, little turtle stayed a lot smaller than the other two. Uh, we now call him Little Timmy. You can see him right in the center of your screen there. Yeah, there he is. Little Timmy. Um, so, the three of them were in here together. This is, I believe, a 40 gallon maybe. It's three feet by 18 by 24, I think. I'm not sure exactly. But um, anyways, uh, the three of them were in here and uh, we couldn't find Little Timmy. So I emptied the tank and found him hiding in uh, that skull in the center of the of your screen. Um, so I felt like maybe he was getting picked on. So I separated him for a little while into this. I know it's not adequate, but it was only for a week or so. I changed the water every four days. And uh, he seems to be eating a lot better. Uh, he's even gained some weight now, so which is really good. Um, so his two brothers were living in here and I got a new tank uh, from some people down the street. They wanted $150 for it so I bought it. It took a lot of elbow grease and uh, vinegar and razor blades to get the sucker clean. But uh, it is now clean and I will take you over there to go see that here shortly. I just wanted to show you this tank here. Uh, I got a marine land canister filter on there as well as a I can't remember the name brand of it it's a pond filter but it has a UV sterilizing light in it so um, those two filters run this tank and real quick since I'm in the same room this is my uh, 210 gallon um, red dirt slider tank it's pretty big it's 8 feet by 2 feet by 2 feet and there's uh, uh, that's that's one of them anyways there's my female she always loves to come and see me she likes to walk around the kitchen floor and stuff it's hilarious and I have a golden thread in there right here sorry it's under the part where there's not much light and I haven't turned the second light on yet but anyways back to the main part of the video I'll take you over to the new tank now and uh, show you what I've done here so this is a tank that I got for hundred and fifty dollars it's uh, a little bit cloudy still right now but uh, the filters are going hard and uh, there's one of the brothers there so they've been in here since about six o'clock last night and uh, they're still a little bit shy. The light looks really red because I, uh, or pink, because it is a grow light. Uh, it has the red and blue spectrums. Um, uh, I don't know if this is good or not, but if anybody has any input, please feel free to let me know. And this is the top here, the topper. Um, I just made the whole thing out of plexiglass. Cut that. Uh, u-shaped cut in there and then heated it with a heat gun so that it would sag down into the water and then when it cooled it's just as rigid if not stronger than um, the original sheets of plexiglass uh, this is just a temporary lid I need to uh, build a lid today proper so yeah that's a little sandbox over there for hopefully some future egg laying I'm going to put a couple plants in here, I think, on the top. And uh, I've cut a few extra pieces of that carpet so that um, if it gets dirty or somebody poops on it or whatever, I can just take it out and replace it and then wash it if need be or whatever. It's cheap. I think it's $3 for a 2 by 2 foot square chunk of that carpet. And then uh, I just cut it, right? So, And I saved a template for that size, which is actually... The lid you see up top here. Um, so basically, I just made what you see this piece right here, which is dubbing as a lid right now, 
uh, was my original bottom piece. Um, it fits right inside where the glass top would fit inside this black rim, right? And then I just made templates of each piece as I went along out of paper, make sure that they fit properly, taped them on the outside with the green painter's tape, and then I uh, proceeded to silicone the inside, uh, just step by step, piece by piece, and uh, it came along out nicely, man. I think uh, I think they're gonna love it in here. I think I don't think they'll have to have a new home as this is. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna guess an 80 or an 85 gallon. So I think they should be good for the rest of their life. He's just sitting there with his mouth wide open. I wanted you guys to see that, but. I think the other guy's hiding in the back and behind. Oh yeah, you can just see his head. I'll see if I can zoom in there. Sorry about the water quality. There he is in the center of your screen. So. Okay, there's a little video. My lazy wiener dogs. It's seven in the morning here, so they're all still wanting to be in bed. I'll show you my cichlid tank real quick. I think that's a 65 or 75 gallon corner tank. Uh, might as well keep going since I'm showing you everything. This is my wife's tortoise table. This is Sebastian. He is a Herman's tortoise. And he, he thinks he's going to get some food right now. That's why he's uh, in a hurry to come and see me. So I built this for her. Um, originally it was two-sided, right, in an L shape. Um, and then we got our son a red foot tortoise. So I separated it right here and then covered this in plexiglass, lined the bottom. Uh, to keep the humidity in because this guy likes a lot more humidity than the Herman's tortoise. I think he's in his cave right now. But anyways, there's little Herman, or Sebastian, sorry, which is a Herman's tortoise. And he's got lots of plants and hides, and he's got a big water bowl, some plants, and a little cave over here. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little home for him. He likes it in here. Okay, I just thought I'd share my pets. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.